Hey guys, we're talking about scale factor today with area and perimeter. All right guys, so we're gonna start with finding the perimeter of these two shapes, and this is just a refresher on how to do that. So remember, perimeter is adding up all of the sides together. So if we look at the first rectangle, a six by four by six by four. So if you add six plus four plus six plus four, we get 20. And then for the bigger one, it's 12 plus 18 plus 12 plus 18. That would give us 60. Another way that you could do this, remember, is the perimeter formula. You're doing two times the length plus two times the width. Okay, now let's have a little bit of a review on scale factor. So this says, what is the scale factor of the original image if the original image is larger? So remember, when we do this, we always put our new value over our original value. So if I look, let's pick a side, let's pick the shorter side here. So I would put my four over the same corresponding side and my bigger shape would be here, which would be 12. So four over 12, which four over 12, that will simplify to one third. So our scale factor here would be one third and it says, and are we reducing it to a fraction of the original? Yes, the shapes are getting smaller. Okay, so what do we know about area compared to perimeter? So if we're bringing area into this now, um, we remember that area is uh, typically length times width, right? Uh, where differently, our perimeter is just like we talked about before, we've got two of the same length that we're adding to two of the same widths. Okay, so if I now go through these shapes and find all of the areas and then find all the perimeters, let's see if they're all the same or if they're all different. So for this first shape, if I'm finding the area, the blue one, I would do six times four, which our area then would be 24. Now the perimeter here, I would do um, six times two and four times two and then add those. So that would be 12 and eight, and 12 plus eight would give me a perimeter of 20. Okay, so now we're gonna move to our green shape. So eight times three, that would give us an area again of 24. But when we do our perimeter, we're gonna do eight times two and three times two. So eight times two is 16, three times two is six. That's gonna give us a perimeter here of 22. So it's interesting to see that between the two shapes, my area is the same, but my perimeter is changing. All right, now let's look at the purple shape. We've got, let's count our blocks here, our two and then times 12. So our area, two times 12, again, we get 24. But for our perimeter, we're gonna do 12 times two and then two times two. 12 times two is 24 and two times two will give us four. So four plus 24 would give us 28. Then finally, let's look at our yellow one. We've got 24 is our long side, and one is the length of the shape. So 24 times one, our area, again, is 24. But our perimeter, we're gonna do 24 times two, and then one times two. 24 times two is 48, and one times two is one, two, <laughs> two. 48 plus two would give us a perimeter of 50. Okay, so if you look here, you notice that all of the areas are the same, but our perimeters are different, so that answers that question above. Do these figures have the same perimeter? And then what about the same area? So definitely same area, different perimeter, and it's almost like the more stretched out it is, the larger the perimeter is. So I just added same area, but different perimeter. Okay, now let's have a little refresher on what's the formula for area of a rectangle. So area of a rectangle we just talked about, that's gonna be length times width. And then area of a square is going to be side squared. You just take your sides because they're the same and you square them. Okay, so now we're gonna see how area affects scale factor. So um, we're gonna look at perimeter and area for both of these. So we already actually found the perimeter of these shapes in our first slide. So I'm just gonna fill those numbers in. Our perimeter for our green was 60 
and our perimeter for our blue was 20. So now if I go ahead and fill in our area, now that we know what area is, so 12 times 18 for our larger or our green shape would be 216. And then for our area of our smaller shape or our blue shape, that would give us 24. Okay, so let's assume for this question, we're going from the larger shape, or sorry, the smaller shape to the larger shape. So what would be the scale factor? So if this was our original, our, uh, the smaller one was the original and our larger one was our new, um, we would put a new side, so let's pick this smaller of the new, 12, and we would put it over the smaller of the small, which is four. So 12 over four simplifies to three, which means our scale factor here would be three. Okay, so now let's take a look at how the perimeter it says the perimeter is how many times larger. So when we're going from our smaller to our larger, how many times larger is it? So if we're going from 20 to 60, well, it's three times larger. All right, that's important to note. Now, if you notice the connection between the areas, if again, I am going from our smaller 24 to our larger 216, you'll notice it's actually nine times larger, okay? This connection has to do with the scale factor, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in just a second. All right, now let's take a look at, um, we've got a gray shape and we've got a white shape, it's a rectangle. Um, we are going to calculate the area and the perimeter of both, and we're talking about how these two things compare to each other again. So if we take a look at our first one, our gray, Let's go ahead and find the perimeter. So perimeter, we're gonna multiply both sides by two and add that together. So we're doing 16 plus six, which 16 plus six is gonna give us 22. So that would be our perimeter. And then the area, we would do eight times three, which would give us 24. Okay, now let's look at the area and perimeter of the white rectangle. Okay, for perimeter, again, we're going to multiply by two to both of them. Nine times two is 18, 24 times two is 48, and then 18 plus 48 would give us 66. And then the area, we're just doing um, nine times 24, which would give us 216. Okay, so how do the areas compare? So if I'm looking at both of my areas, this is actually identical to the ones we just did on the slide before because we have 24 and 216. 24 and 216, we already said is it's nine times larger. So for our area, it's nine times larger. Oops, nine times larger. And for our perimeter, if we look compare our perimeters, we're going from 22 to 66, that's three times larger. Okay, now if we look at the scale factor of the two, which it doesn't ask you to do this here, but if we look at the scale factor and we're going from our smaller to our larger, so we're gonna put, this was our original, this is our new, we're gonna put a new side, so nine over three, that simplifies to three. So our scale factor here would be three. Now again, you notice, we said that the perimeter is three times larger. Area is nine times larger. If you think of our scale factor, which is three, all we had to do here was take the perimeter of the smaller one, if we know the scale factor is three, and multiply it by three to get the perimeter of the larger one. Now, the area here, we take our scale factor and we square it and we get nine, and that takes us from the area of the smaller to the larger, okay? So we multiplied 24 times nine, so we squared our scale factor. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna be finding scale factor of all of the different shapes. Um, we're gonna go from gray to white, black to gray, and then black to white. So before we do that, we need to actually identify the numbers and the length and the width of these sides. So I'm gonna fill those in. 
so if you will fill them in with me. So here we've got four by six. For this gray, it's gonna go all the way down. We have an eight by 12. And then lastly, for the bigger one, we have a 16 by 24. Okay. okay, so now we're gonna use those numbers to find all the scale factors. So the first one is asking from gray to white. So gray to white meaning the gray one is the original, the white is the new. So we're gonna put a new side, so let's put the shorter of the new, that would be 16, over the shorter of the gray, which would be eight. And if we simplify that, we get two. So we get a scale factor there of two. Okay, for the next one, we are now going to be looking at two different colors. We're looking at black to gray here. So if we're doing black to gray, our black is our original and gray is our new. So we're doing black to gray. So we're gonna take the smaller of the gray side, since that is our new, it's always new over original, which is eight. And we're gonna put that over the smaller of the black side, which is four. Okay, and if we simplify that, we get two. Now let's take a look at the last one they want us to do, which is going from black to white, black to white, so the black is the original and the white is the new, so black to white. So we're gonna put our new side, smaller side is 16 over, our original smaller side is four, 16 over four is four. So we have found the scale factor of each of these different shapes. And now we're gonna come back to this after we do our last slide. Okay, I'm just gonna go in and fill in what we just talked about with our scale factor. So when we went from black to white, so this is asking for area and perimeter, we found that the scale factor from black to white was four. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side there as a reminder, our scale factor was four. Um, when we went from gray to white, and again, gray to white, our scale factor was two. So two. We'll see how that plays out in a minute. So now they want us to find the area and the perimeter from the black, the white, and the gray, and the white. Okay, so I actually want you to pause this slide right now, go ahead and find the areas and the perimeters of each of these colors. And the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna fill out like black and then white, because this first one's area, then again black, white, and so forth. So go ahead and pause it, fill it out, and then come back to the slide and we'll check it together. All right, so go ahead and check my answer against yours and make sure that they're good. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and talk about some comparing here. Um, let's jump to the questions that refer to perimeter. So number four, or number, uh, the second one down. It says, how do the perimeters of the black and the white compare? So if you look, we're talking about perimeter here. Um, we talked about earlier how you can take the scale factor, which we said was four, multiply it by the perimeter of one of them and got, and we get the perimeter of the second one. Okay, so, because 20 times four gives us 80. Same thing is true below with the bottom question on perimeter. When we're going from gray to white, if you take the scale factor, which we said was two, and do 40 times two, we get the perimeter of the second one, which was 80. Okay, now, so we can say that you can find the perimeter, to, or to find the perimeter, you would multiply the, that perimeter by the scale factor. Okay, now let's talk about when you're dealing with area. So if we've got area here, we're saying from black to white, if you take the scale factor that we got, which was four, and square it, four squared is 16, if you do 24 times 16, you will get 384. Same thing is true for the other one with area, the gray and the white. The scale factor was two, let's square it. That's gonna give us four. So 96 times four will give us 384. So if you're finding area, you would multiply by the scale factor squared. 
and you can use that every time.